Shalom, my friends. Welcome back to Code Charger. I know it's been a while since we uh, talked about any tables. I've had a full plate, folks. You can see down here what I got in front of me and the training that we, we've been um, doing. I've had a full plate. Um, and there's, been, there's a lot of questions of, about a lot of different things going on. So I wanted to take some time um, and, and talk about uh, some code today, particularly Doc, uh, Donald Trump. Now, one of the most famous blunders from Michael Drawson, as far as egg on the face, you know, making false predictions, as Rabbi Glazerson would say, uh, he predicted and came out with a table uh, that Al Gore would win the presidency. And in fact, uh, he did not. Uh, he had rode the wave of success from a predictive code the father had given him about the assassination of Yitzhak Rabin one year before it happened. Uh, so now he was generating all of these uh, Bible codes, really, for the most part, to sell books, folks. He wasn't in it to um, discover truth. Um, so anyway, uh, what he failed to see, uh, and, and I observed this through my analysis of his work, was he was not thorough. He would not uh, devote the time into extracting these these codes out of this matrix, which takes in a lot of, each one takes many, many hours. Uh, I know Blazerson can crank out uh, tables pretty regularly on, on a daily basis. And if you notice, his tables are generally best meeting tables, which, which means there are two terms that he is looking for the best meeting of in the table, and he doesn't spend a lot of time in the actual verses that go through and uh, and things like that. So uh, anyway, it's just a different methodology in, in searching, but uh, the, the story is um, Drawson had an extension. The code table said something to the effect of, uh, and I'm trying to recall memory, I'm, I'm paraphrasing here, so uh, this is not going to be exact. Um, uh, Gore, uh, Al Gore victory, uh, or presidential victory, and then the extension to that was stolen or robbed or something like that. And so there was an extension there that he didn't see. And what I mean by an extension, if you see, like on this table here, which is Donald Trump or D Trump, as the only way his his full name does not appear. It's D Trump, and you can spell it with an olive or without an olive. Um, but uh, the extension would be, you know, like if this said uh, Al Gore wins or Al Gore's victory. I think it was Al Gore's victory stolen or something like that or, or something to that effect. I apologize for not being on point on that. Uh, just kind of thought about uh, his blunder when I started this. But the extension went on and he didn't see it. So it was an oversight of his that would have, you know, and it, each of us as researchers will, and coach will realize that you will come to a point where you do the same thing. You find something and you want to put it out as, a, as something that's going to happen uh, because of the, what happened with Drazen and the Rubin Code, as if this is supposed to be for prediction. You get egg on your face every time. If it is not ordained by Yahuwah, if he didn't give it to you, he'd say, this is going to happen. And that's only happened to me a couple of times. Once was um, with Ariel Sharon and, and before he died. Um, and I was afraid to put that out because it was like, it was a prediction. It was essentially saying, you know, Ariel Sharon was going to die. And indeed he did like a couple of weeks later after being in a coma. Um, and he wasn't on the radar at that time. So I wasn't getting this from the news. This was you know, from the father. So... Bad taste in the mouth for people who were into the codes at the time. You know, uh, you would hear, oh, they're not good for predicting. You still hear that. They're not reliable for predicting. There was nothing in this that indicated to me who intended us to predict the future. That was not the intention of this at all. Uh, he hid things here for us to find. Uh, Yes, but not to predict the future. It, it, there's many other factors that, or, or possibilities that he could have put these here. Um, 
One, I believe, is to calibrate the word because we have so many op opinions and interpretations of any one scripture. So I believe the codes is essentially like a DNA of the scriptures where who confirms himself and he don't need a two-bit sidewall prophet to tell people what it means, including me. So, uh, that's, you know, just my analysis of it. I believe that it's not for a crystal ball purpose, but to validate his own word. If he gives a predictive code, uh, it, it is only to for his glory. Michael Drosden was writing books and trying to predict the future as if he was a psychic, and he only had one code ever come out as a predictive code. So, now... You know, my work has been, you know, going across a, some sort of grain in every, in, in, in every sense, where that's what I hear from people. Well, the codes are nothing. It's, you know, it's, they're not reliable for, for predicting. All these millions and millions of codes out there, uh, and then, you know, people are making these predictions. Is rapture going to happen? You know, maze in coded. 32 times, and this equates to rapture is going to happen. And no, it does not mean that at all. So, there's a lot. We're learning about this every day. He has clearly have purpose in this, and I believe he will reveal those reasons as we go. We are just now scratching the surface of this. So let me just show you what I'm, I'm looking at here. Um, there's a Heredi uh, scholar who does Bible codes who has put out a code that says that Hillary Clinton will win the presidency. And I would disagree with that. You know, just because uh, he finds you know, some words together doesn't equal it. It has to be th searched out thoroughly. And even then, uh, we wait and see. We don't make predictions on it. We, we see what anomaly plays out. Uh, for instance... We have Donald Trump or D. Trump with murder here. Does that mean that murder is going to happen? Uh, well, the methodology of the rabbis is proximity and small a skip, and this has definitely got proximity to it. It even shares a letter. I would say there's a, and this is common sense even, he has a high probability of someone taking him out. <clears throat> the rabbis even said the same thing. Murder appears or, or is murdered, uh, a couple of times you see here and uh, down here essentially saying the same thing. Uh, I was shot in the orange letters, uh, and there is the word assassin in here. Uh, the United States is an, uh, looks to me like an up down, upside down seven or inverted seven. Uh, this is the word of Yahuwah. Uh, Nasi is definitely in here, president, but he is a president of his own company. He said, we can't equate this to he will be president. However, uh, going back to this Heredi scholars table that he found, uh, Hillary president, I found the same thing for Trump. Trump president. Uh, again, this could also mean he's the president of his company, so we can't assume this means he wins the presidency. So, how, how do you search that? Well, well, let's look for Trump wins. In I did find that. Trump wins. And it says in 2016, it's also up here as well. Now, Hillary is in this table. Interesting anomaly that happens here, folks. We have Nazi here twice. You've got it right here, small skip. And then going across the actual axis term with Hillary swooping down to the noon in Nasi. Does this mean there's a possibility this could be stolen? It's open for interpretation, folks. I didn't get a word from the Father. That's what's going to happen. Uh, but this is what I got. There is a chance it will be attempted to be stolen. The word stolen is here. It's right up at the top. Ganav. I should have did better color letters there. You can't see it. That's actually a, a gimel. Ganav is here. 
right there. And it says skip a 38. Just under the date, Atov Shenine Vav, 2016. I got a few uh, verses I thought may be uh, relevant, of course, in the context of this um, table. It has its own context in the scripture, but when we're looking at a coded table, the matrix, each of the verses that come through essentially have a context of the access term and corresponding ELS terms that are here. For instance, we have United States sharing the bet with elections, I think, and it's in the same column as the access term, as you can see here, very same column coming down in that bet. So it's, it's uh, converging on, on it. I think it's relevant. Um, Hillary is down here. Elections is down here. Um, now, based off the verse that goes through, through the, t the tet in his name, uh, which is a condition that if he does thus, thus will happen. Uh, so I believe that Trump will win if he keeps what it says there. I saw an article today that said that he confessed to be a Christian. If that is, to, if that is true, if that is true, then this could be a predictive code because there's a condition running through here. And I'll take you over there and show you what that is. And it's for all of us. It's a promise to all of us when we do this. And this is Ezekiel. Uh, Thirty-six twenty-seven, where a new, excuse me, a new spirit, a new heart, is being put into some man here. Let's see. 27. And I will put my, let's see. A new heart also will I give you. A new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart of your flesh. And I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. And ye shall keep my judgments and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land I gave to your fathers. And ye shall be my people, and I shall be your Elohim. Um, so, actually, I had thought that this was a verse where it says, if you keep my statutes, uh, you live in the blessing. But I believe this is the, uh, the other verse here. Uh, so, I kind of blundered that. Apologize for that. But e even still, this is a great verse. It, it has some meaning through there where he says he will put his spirit in him and that he will walk in his statutes and his judgments and keep them and do them. And then he would dwell in that land that I gave your fathers. Now, that's a condition. Um, Hosea 7.4 is down at the very bottom in the chet of the axis term. Four. Let's just back it up because we're talking about Ephraim here, um, which I believe uh, America, Great Britain, and the, the Isles there are Manasseh and Ephraim. So uh, here's what it says. And by, and by the way, I'm not talking, this is not replacement theology, folks. We're talking about the lost tribes that are in these countries and people who are in the body of uh, believers are a part of this. So it is Israel in the body. Um, so here it says, when, when, would, when I would have healed Israel, then the iniquity of Ephraim was discovered and the wickedness of Samaria, and for they have committed falsehood and the thief cometh in and the troop of robbers spoileth without. And they considered not their hearts and I remember all their wickedness and how their own doings have beset them about. And they are before my face. And they make a king glad with their wickedness and their princes with their lies. They are all adulterers as an oven heated by the baker who seeth us from rising after he hath kneaded the dough until it be leavened. And the day our king and princes have made him sick of with bottles of wine and stretched out his hands with scorners for they have made ready their heart like an oven. 
whilst they lie in wait, their baker sleepeth all the night, in the morning it burneth as a flaming fire, and they are not, and they are all hot as an oven, and have devoured their judges. All their kings are fallen, and there is none among them calleth unto me. Ephraim hath mixed himself among the people. Ephraim is a cake not turned. Strangers have devoured his strength, and he knoweth it not. Yea, great hairs are here and there upon him, yet he knoweth it not. And the pride of Israel testifieth to his face, and they do not return unto, you, uh, unto Adonai their Elohim, nor seek him for all this. Ephraim also is like a silly dove without a heart, and they call to Egypt, and they go to Assyria. Then they shall go, and I will spread my net upon them, and I will bring them down as fowls from heaven, and I will chasten them as their congregation hath heard. Woe unto them, for they have fled from me. Destruction unto them, because they have transgressed against me. Though I have redeemed them, yet they have spoken lies against me. And they have not cried unto me with their heart. When they have howled upon their beds, they have assembled themselves for corn and wine, and they rebel against me. Though I have bound and strengthened their arms, yet do they imagine mischief against me. And they return, but not to the Most High. They are like a deceitful bow. Their princes shall fall by the sword for the rage of their tongue. This shall be the derision in the land of Egypt. And that was a whole chapter of seven. Let me go back up here to Ezekiel. 29, 15, and that other verse about the blessings has got to be in the other table, I'm sure. 29, 15. Folks, when you got this many you're looking at at any given time, it is hard to keep the verses right in, in which table we're looking at. And i got several on Trump. So we're still in Ezekiel in this. 29, 15. It shall be the basis of the kingdoms. Is that where I want to start? It shall be the basis of, yes, that's what I got. It shall be the basis of kingdoms. Neither shall it exalt itself any more above the nations, for I will diminish them, and they shall no more rule over the nations. And now I see that all of stops right there in verse 16. And it shall be no more the confidence of the house of Israel, which America has indeed lost the confidence of Israel. We were the protectors or in the one ally that stood with Israel and, and we are no longer that nation. So uh, I, I believe it spoke to the, the table. And I again apologize for getting my verses mixed up. Jonah down at the bottom down here another prophet of end time destru or destruction of cities eight and nine is what I have highlighted and they said unto him tell us we pray thee for whose cause is it, who caused this evil is upon us what is thine occupation and whence comest thou and what is thy country and what of, and and of what people art thou? And he said unto them, I am a Hebrew, and I fear the Adonai, the Elohim of Shemaim, which he hath made the sea and the and the dry land. Then the men were exceedingly afraid, and said unto him, Why hast thou Why hast thou done this? For the men knew that he had fled from the presence of Yahuwah because he had told them. Now, the researcher Gil Broussard had suggested that 
Jonah was actually in this situation, in the context of this, was warning the people of Nineveh of something that was coming, something from outer space that it had an effect on the earth and was doing crazy things as it seems to be doing now. Uh, and read on here in 13 what happens. Nevertheless, the men rode hard and bring it to the land, but they could not fear for the sea was raw and it was tempt, uh, temptest us against them. So the seas was raging and Jonah was the reason. Um, and he wasn't being obedient. So they cast him over. Uh, but he goes on to the city and the city is spared. So he resists the father and doesn't believe that it's even possible. But he goes and preaches repentance and they repent and the city is, is spared. Is that what this is indicating in this table? And some of the is suggesting that uh, if this nation does the same thing, uh, will the evil that is on this nation be cast off? I can't answer that question. I would think it would take a nation on its, on its face. Um, the, the things that are happening now are just at an accelerated rate. I don't know. All things are possible. But I, I believe the Father has purpose in what he's going to do. There's a sword of Yahuwah coming. And I believe it's connect, connected to Islam and ISIS. Um, we're, we're definitely seeing slaughter of the lambs. Um, will there be another president? I, I don't know that either. Even though it says Trump wins. How, mu how much into the, the presidency will he go? There is definitely a fall coming to America. I don't just see that in the codes. I feel that in my spirit. Um, and I'm very concerned about it. So uh, there's definitely judgment coming to the land. Uh, possibility Hillary Clinton could steal, it suggests, could steal. There's a high probability somebody could take Donald Trump out. Murder is all over his table. Assassination. Assassin is there. So uh, we have to see. So I just wanted to share some of these things with you. There are some other codes I'm looking at. There are blessings. You know, some of these things you can look at, it can kind of depress you. Here's one um, that is, is an absolute blessing. Now, I've said before, I believe that there is a Yeshua code in some way that connects every verse connected to the Messiah. Now, I've yet to find that, but I believe... Uh, this is something along the lines of that, and which is the, the access term, uh, which only appears. Let me take you and show you. One time. And it's at a skip of 19473. But it took all of those letters to say what this table says, which is, he is beloved by heaven. And I found right at the bottom, Yeshua. Right there. And that's a blessing to me. And then other uh, corresponding verses to the Messiah. We've got Savior here, the Mashiach in red, the Mashiach, uh, the Savior here. It is also here, going through these verses. Uh, and we have was crucified twice on itself and the Goel, the Goel, the Redeemer. Also got Yehoshua up at the top. So, I'm working on that. Here's another one I'm working on. Um, this is a collaboration with Neptune Diaries I'll be doing, which is the Orlando Massacre, which is right here. And I don't want to reveal too much of, of this table because that will be in a video that is coming up. So... Just letting you know, I'm working on that. Some of you asked, uh, Johannan asked me in the broadcast the other day, are you looking at this? Um, was it Johannan asked me that? Uh, it was one of you guys that asked me this. I get requests all the time. So uh, again, I can't keep track of that unless I write it down exactly who says what. Um, here's something that I should have done a long time ago, but uh, was an actual... 
access term I just had stored away. You know, and I've got hundreds of those. Again, that's why we're training people to help, uh, which is Fukushima. This is uh, f more than five years old, and uh, I j just, you know, pulled it out and started working on it. I've started thinking about uh, this guy I know on YouTube who is a Fukushima activist. And so I, I said, well, I've got a Fukushima table. Let me pull it out. And so I did. And these are, these are the words I've gotten so far. Now, now, Kevin is here. Now, here's the actual word, Fukushima, with the word Japan in yellow right there. Uh, it's also over here. And I, th I think it's one more time. But, but the word radiation is also here, and his name uh, is, is connected to it, which is here. This is radiation. Uh, it's also up here. And here in the blue... And here as well, as well as over here. So it's all over the place. How's that? Tsunami. Radiation all over the place. America and tsunami. Now, America wasn't connected to the tsunami, so I don't know why that is. It's just an anomaly, but there was the, the actual, you know, tsunami was in Japan. So I don't know what, what, what that means, but here it is. Uh, we've got judgment here in several places, one, two, three, four times, and vertical here. Um, like I said, I got Kevin and his last name, Blanche, right there. Uh, his Kev. Um, and I forgot what that was, uh, that word was. Uh, poison is in here. Uh, the year 2011. Aleph. Uh, uh, hey, Tov, Shin, Ein, Aleph. Um, Wormwood, right there, and a reactor. Also, look, in Tav, Shin, Ein, Aleph, the same year as over here, but it says in with the bet, in Tav, Shin, Ein, Aleph. That's when it happened. Uh, Adar is the month. Uh, the seas, right next to that, it happened right next to the ocean. Um, look at this. Inside of... Um, where radiation is is the word disaster in red and the word sickness in blue so you got radiation disaster sickness all encoded right there all those letters sickness over here that's exactly what that is i forgot what it was but now i know sickness poison poison is also vertical here it goes off the page up to the top with some more judgments uh, so Fukushima another table needed to be worked uh, and by the way uh, apprentice students your lesson is is coming up after this so hang tight uh, we're still putting that together so we're in Isaiah 4 5 14 is where I got highlighted right through here and this is for poison Therefore, hell hath enlarged itself and opened her mouth without measure and her glory in, in their multitude and their pomp and all that he hath rejoiceth shall descend into it. And the mean man shall be brought down and the mighty man shall be humbled and the eyes of the lofty shall be humbled. But uh, the Adonai of hosts... Uh, shall be exalted in judgment, and Yahuwah is, the ho is holy, shall be sanctified in his righteousness. And I just kept on going. So, and you see what's highlighted there. And then we're in, is Isaiah as well? Yes. 1033. Behold, and Yahuwah of just heard a car driving by, excuse me. And the Adonai of hosts shall be shall lop up lop the bow up with terror, and the high ones of stature shall be hewn down, and the haughty shall be humbled. And then Isaiah 
14 and 23. I will also make it a possession for the bittern, which is bitterness and pools of water, and I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, saith Yahuwah, of Salahot. And Yahuwah Salahot has sworn, saying, Surely I have thought, and it shall come to pass, as I have purposed it, so it shall stand. And then, 23.4. And that is also Isaiah. Be thou ashamed, O Zidon, for the sea hath spoken, even the strength of the sea, saying, I travail not, nor bring forth children, neither do I nourish up the young men, nor bring up the virgins. And that's right over here by Tsunami. So I thought all these verses were interesting. And again, when you're doing these searches, you just kind of go down and, and look through, you know, terms that are running vertical, what's running through there. And uh, those are the ones that have stood out so far. Again, this is just something I just just started based up really on my friend Kev from YouTube, who has leukemia, by the way, from exposure to radiation. And he is a Fukushima activist. He is encoded in the Fukushima table. That is amazing. So, uh, that's what I got. So, I believe Trump will win if Hillary doesn't steal it. <laughs> so, that's where I stand. So, that's it. All right. So, all right, guys. Shalom. And we see you in the next video. Students, be, be looking for yours coming in email. It will be today. Shalom.